Hey everyone, peace and good health. So this is Jay from Herbal Chemistry. So you know, guys already know, I love being out here. So I'm like super excited. As always, when I'm out here integrating and being with these wonderful plant communities, the tiniest leaf, the smallest little sprout always leads you somewhere. So uh, on my uh, search, I happen to run into what you see here, these little purple leaves that are sprouting out of the ground. This is skunk cabbage. Now there's a lot of information and there is also some misinformation regarding skunk cabbage. Um, so skunk cabbage uh, amazingly um, has this uncanny ability to sprout during the frosting season. So towards the end where you still have those icy seasons where there's sheets of snow on the ground and there's ice everywhere. Well, this powerful plant actually can insulate itself and over, sitting in a sheet of ice, it can produce enough heat that rises up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolutely amazing. So this is just showing that in its center, in its core, it still produces powerful energy like the sun. It's like a little piece of the sun that's still warm, always producing heat, just like us, just like nature, just like, you know, all the things that are around us. Okay, so it's one of those small pieces of heat that still exists during the end of the uh, winter season. And uh, another unique um, tidbit about this wonderful plant is that its roots are huge. And I mean, they're not easy to get up. Um, but the, uh, they also, I believe they also call this bear skunk. And bears actually ingest this plant uh, in the beginning of the spring. Spring season, they like to eat the roots. And apparently it seems to have uh, some effect on their blood sugar levels, which kind of makes sense being that it also has an effect on our blood sugar levels as well. So a lot of uh, our uh, native uh, ancestors, we would use this plant for um, issues with the lung, asthma, um, you know, really deep congestion. This plant is known to going deep into the core of that heart chakra and really stimulating some powerful effects. Now, this plant is not to be, you know, you taken lightly. Uh, it does contain some very powerful constituents. Uh, it does have... Um, uh, silicates, which is uh, similar to what you would find in uh, acetosilic acid, and that's going to ha have an anti-inflammatory effect. It's going to help with pain. Um, it also has um, what we would call uh, tryptylenes, and those have a, a fantastic effect in making sure that we're producing enough serotonin. But also keep in mind that you know when using anything that contains tryptamines, you want to make sure you're using very very small amounts. So. Uh, an herb like this, we're going to be using something very, very uh, uh, gingerly, um, very small, tiny doses because it is truly, truly powerful. Uh, something like this, again, this, this amazing plant, you want to make sure you cook it down. If you're going to ingest this plant as a food, um, you're going to want to make sure you cook it all the way down because it does contain a lot of oxalates. And, you know, oxalates can be very hard on the body as well. Um, just like, you know, most of the other plants that we like to ingest, such as spinach and kale and things like that, they also possess oxalates. Um, but the levels of oxalates that are going to be found here are way through the roof because it is a very, very powerful medicine. So I'm super excited to uh, find this plant here. I just wanted to share, you know, I actually wasn't even prepared to do any videos. I was really just coming out here to just kind of connect. And when I saw this plant, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to do a video on it. So I'm doing a video on it. It kind of, I don't know if you can see, but inside it has this huge seed inside of the plant. And in order to do this video, I actually had to do like a makeshift tripod because I didn't have my tripod with me. So I don't know, I might take a picture of the uh, makeshift tripod that I have here posting up the phone so that I could do the video. Um, well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to really chat and connect with this plant. Um, it's a it's it's an old plant. Uh, the ancient natives really, you know, uh, delve deep into this plant. There's a lot of information on it. Um, you know, I, ex I, I definitely encourage you to go out there, explore. If you find it, learn about it, connect with it, take a small little nibble, you know, take something, leave something behind, but definitely do your research on, you know, utilizing this plant because again, it's extremely powerful. You don't need a lot, literally small drops with microdosing is all that you need because this plant can be extremely powerful, especially with the, um, with the tryptamines. You want to make sure you're taking extremely small doses. Don't overdose on something like this. All right. Well, that's all for today. Peace and good health. Like, share, and subscribe and all that stuff. Um, see you guys soon. Peace and good health. I'm going to go back to connecting and um, 
you know, really admiring the beauty of this plant. Talk to you soon. Peace and good health. Bye-bye.